Organizasyonu Steady, reliable, consistent source of milk, especially in the winter, is what's going to allow these processors uh, to keep running year-round. USAID and Oasis Agro are going to be teaming up and it's going to be hopefully quite a symbiotic partnership. Oasis Agro is bringing the technological know-how that's really needed to help farmers get better production that will ultimately lead them to be more profitable. Eğer de bizde stabildi kışında süt menen kamsız gılıp tırgan bultu, bizde süt bolıp tırsa, biz e, özüzdün e, pastafşikler de joğut koyuuz, salarga e, kışı çimenin süt menen kamsız dap tırağız, oşunda öyle. Biz e, özüzdün pastafşikler menen ötü uzak mönütkü kontrak tüzet bolçuz. The project really aims to address needs at every stage of the value chain, so we'll be working with everything from the upstream crop and, and fodder farmers all the way down to the milk processors and everything in between. I've been working for 3 years in Mal Charvachi. I've been working for 5 years in Mal Charvachi. I've been working for 5 years in Mal Charvachi. I've been working for 4 years in Mal Charvachi. I've been working for 3 years in Mal Charvachi. I've been working for 3 years Girişe bulağı olup kaldı, daha öndürdülüğün göğü etsek. Oşal, hazır canlı projekleri bol ota teken. Misait, Oyes Agro, işte çıvatıkları, şimdi canlı sütün öndürdülüğün göğü ete tırgan. Oşal projek bizge geçse, çakşı olup dile. The Kyrgyz have really been herdsmen for centuries. So there's been quite a reputation that the Kyrgyz have had excellent products coming from their animals. So we want to just continue to build on that and hope them help them continue to get to better quality standards. Oasis Agro specializes in helping small farmers or families to start their own business in cattle or poultry. Our vision is to improve their lives and to release the productive potential of Kyrgyz Republic. High quality feed is very important in this whole process and we can already produce through our equipment feed for dairy, but most of the time we are flying blind because we don't really know what the nutritional values is of our incoming ingredients. We don't have a laboratory nearby. The dairy project will help us in getting a laboratory and also better equipment to make our feed better. Higher quality nutrition will lead to higher productivity of cows, therefore higher profitability for farmers at the end. As a veterinarian, my role in this project will be advising farmers on everything from animal husbandry right the way through to uh, disease control and disease prevention. I'm also going to be coming alongside local farmers and training them up. So we plan to import good quality semen and do artificial insemination so that we're not just improving practices but we're also improving genetics. But probably one of the biggest challenges this project is going to face is actually getting farmers to change the way they do things. So we're planning to start up uh, two learning farms so that the farmers can come along and they can see the artificial insemination, they can see the different rations and diets that we're feeding to the cows, they can see the different housing and how we're using local products but also new techniques together and how we're achieving success through that. One of our priorities will be to work with especially select innovative and progressive dairy farmers. So um, we're very optimistic that in finding that first group of, um, of farmers that will be able to, to get good results that will then lend themselves to working with an even broader group of farmers. Project may be for two years, but Oasis Agro definitely has a long-term perspective 
aim towards uh, long-term profitability and stability, sustainability of these smallholder farmers. The project really aims to build a foundation of nutrition, genetics, and management training that will build a foundation for this sector to be sustainable for generations to come.